Welcome back everyone, this is the VG Pierce. I'll be coming at you with some Season 9 action for the Cabal Vision Champions Cup Playoffs. And we are now into Round 2 and we're going to see a couple of good games today. So, without further ado, we are going to be checking them out over this weekend. I'll actually be celebrating my birthday, so I won't be in this weekend at all. I'll be having too much fun, way too much, but... That will be in Blood Bowl will be put to the wayside. I will have to catch up early next week, so check me there. But for now, let's go ahead and check out the Cambry team versus the Dwarves. That's right, Coley and XXX taking on Mike the Machine. So I understand you are the machine. Alright, let's go ahead and move on. No, he's not he's not they're just playing the music from Mr. John Williams there, Brownmeister. He's not he's not playing it. Or he's not actually gonna be directing it. Alright, let's go ahead and start up this replay and no spoilers here as it is gonna be covered up. And as the replays comes up, we're gonna see the brackets. Coley and XXX dwarf team taking on the camera team. There we go. It's finally up. I don't know why it took forever to start up the replay. But nonetheless, here we go. And in my preliminary prediction, I did say that I like the Camry team. Oh, man. It was a tough choice, to be honest. But Dwarven team might be in for it. Camry team looking so good and playing so well and strong. How can you deny that they should move on to the next bit? Dwarven team, though, is going to be coached by Colleen XXX. And it's going to be some Russian name that I cannot pronounce. So, Dwarves, though, will be having a pair of star players. But yes, Cambridge team will be coached by Mike the Machine. Underground Circus. And now we are going to see the Dwarven team or the Cambridge team taking it to the next bit. And uh, here we go. Colian XXX, a... Pretty much a staple in these games because what is it? he seems to make the Champions Cup every season almost, but he missteps along the way and then unfortunately falls short of his ultimate victory. But nonetheless, he's back and with a very well developed Dwarven team. But first, let's go ahead and take a look at both of these side skills before we get too much further on. And as we see there, Kemri team does have this thrower you need two of them and you're gonna have to have them with that block skill also with the tackle ability and the leader here and uh, also the other blitz rough with the guard strength with the mighty blow with the tackle here and also kickoff return for this thrower with the plus one in strength frenzy and also the block ability and then guard skeleton there dirty player more tackle and then the Tomb Guardians, all with five strength, does have Mighty Blow with them. This one with the block, this one with the guard as well. And this one with grab, and more guard, and more Mighty Blow. And here, this Tomb Guardian does go with guard instead of going with the Mighty Blow instead. Scum, stealing my stick, VG? No, I'm not. <laughs> he grabbed Boomer. Now, from what I understand, it, so, somebody in the comments said that, well, you grab Boomer as your star player because he's nice and cheap and uh, a bit of a juggernaut. Could actually do well because it's a bit... It's one of those things where the if the other team doesn't have high agility, like the Kemri team, then he could be, well, explosive. <laughs> but yes, the Boomer could actually be a big thing and he also has Barrack Far Blast and there's another thing for the Dwarven team again somebody in the comments did say that Barrack Far Blast was kind of more or less used as someone that will do more often than that fouls and not necessarily for any real ball carrying or throwing but worst come to worst then you can have the Hail Mary you can have the strong arm and pass skill so I guess why not but still that's just something that the Dwarven team wants to have pretty cheap to get if you can get him. You know what? He's only, what, 60k or something like that? With, uh, and he's also block. Yeah, he's got the uh, pretty good stuff there for that boomer. 
But Barrack Fire Blast also pretty cheap as well. All right, so Dwarven team though. Oh, Cameron team does have four people to come in from the bench, the skeletons. And so now Dwarven team does have a plus one agility runner with that kickoff return, also with the black ability, and also a another one of these beautiful Dwarven longbeards does have that block and tackle inherent. This one with the guard and mighty blow. Heck, all of the longbeards I believe has the guard ability. You definitely need guard as the first skill for your long beards and then the troll slayers this one with the mighty blow piling on with that guard ability and we will have more runners here plus one in strength with that tackle ability oh man so good here in the backfield i mean that's actually another long beard and so with that without further ado let's go ahead and take a look at the bench and yes more long beards here mighty blow piling on with that guard ability and uh, so good, so good. If the Kemri team can survive this onslaught, which perhaps they should, then uh, they will move on. But the Dwarven team looks so strong. And I almost picked the Dwarven team to win it, but I think five strength with the guard should persevere, but we'll see about that. Couple of uh, apothecaries here. So wandering apothecary, apothecary is gonna be chosen for the Dwarven team. Fearing too much bashing that's going on. And we are underway. Ball looks like it's going to be kicked a little bit short. And to the right. As the kickoff return, Dwarf is going to move on. Pitch invasion. And so, ooh, he's going to knock out a whole bunch of guys. And remember, there is a bug right now. So, all of these stunned players are going to stay out for two rounds. Not just one. And uh, as you can see there, the Tomb Guardians, three of the Tomb Guardians are going to be out. Only one Tomb Guardian left and he's gonna get smashed in the face soon with that Frenzy and the Dauntless and he will be able to get the Defender down he will be able to take him down any big injuries on those Tomb Guardians could cost them because they do have the K so if anything what you're looking to do is at least cause an armor value break and hopefully make them roll any big injuries but luckily just gonna be more stuns but that's just gonna be a one turn stun right there Secret option of thick skull, middle of the group of people, and then throw tends to take everyone out but himself. Yeah, that could be that could be a thing here. Boomer could just throw it in a big old crowd, and then just blow up everything around him. But looks like Boomer's gonna sit out as well as Barrack Far Blast for this first bit of the possession, opting to keep his normal team out there. So we're not gonna see any of that madness until the possession half of the Camry, I believe. I guess a good option here because the Dwarven team, he wants to have all of his special players in, all of them with nice skill ups. And so, who are you going to sit down, right? You're going to sit down, what? A, a dwarf with piling on, mighty blow, and, and stand firm? What, what are you going to do? No, you're not going to do that. So, going to sit the star players. And also, I believe they are secret weapons, and so they will get called out afterwards. Yes, they are going to get called out. And with no bribes on either side here, then he's just going to keep them in hand for the time being. A little bit interesting that he doesn't use at least one of them for this possession. Maybe Boomer or something like that, right? But I think Boomer is a lot better off on, on the offensive side of the ball. because, Or actually on the defensive side of the ball because the Kemmer team won't be able to get their classic cage up because of the... The bomber, the bombardier, all the bombs that'll be flying into the cage, so won't be able to get a comfortable cage going for his guys. And more mighty blow, more piling on. Dwarven team, ground and pound will be taking every square inch as he moves along. Oh, it's so nice to have a plus one agility ball carry when you're dwarven team or even the orc team. Every time you get a plus one agility thrower or or the runner gets the plus one agility. It's just it's just so much more free. And now look at this. Oh, look at this. Actually, it won't be for a couple of rounds there. Look at that. So he actually will get them back in the next bit. Okay, that's great. So even though there's supposed to be a stun bug, the Tomb Guardians do come back at round two. So that's normal. And he will be able to stand right back up. 
and we'll be able to hit a dwarf and take him out. So, hey, that worked out. Dwarves now. It was round two for him, and he's also able to get all the stun players back. So, I guess pitch invasion is not the thing. I guess it's throw a rock, isn't it? Yeah, did get the early apothecary going as well. But with the two apothecary, why not? Why not use the apothecary? That's what they're there for. Not every day that the dwarves are going to go out with an injury. And so, not afraid too much. I mean, arm value 9, mighty blow, still not too bad, I'd say. And so, it's going to use that apothecary there straight away. Not, 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 too, not too crazy. Not too crazy. It's unlike those other teams where it's just like, oh, why didn't you use the apothecary early? But in this case here, dwarves shouldn't, in theory, go out as often as, say, an armor value 7 <laughs> team or even an armor value 8 against Mighty Blow piling on. And so that's the nice thing about the dwarven team. One of the things that I always tell new players to, to, to play this dwarven team, they're so strong. They barely go out. You can pretty much start with... 11 players each and every single time you, you get an extra one guy just in case but besides the 12th man that's about it and heck even this dwarven team what he's got what he, he's just got his original 11 and he's using two star players Ooh, two guardian though he's not done yet so there we go second apothecary is gonna get used and so hey and that's the one that is going to be the plus one in strength as well. So pretty much almost had to use the Apothecary there on that long beard. So now no more Apothecaries. And injuries might actually be a thing. And there, another injury. Tomb Guardians. Oh, hit after hit is just so devastating. And another plus one in strength long beard going down. My gosh, this Camry team going all out. Oh no, and I had the brackets up, didn't I? Oh no, I didn't. Okay, that's okay. I just have it on my Twitch channel here. <laughs> oh, it scared me for a second there. Alright. Mike gets two big injuries back to back. I know it's my fault, scum. I said it, I said it. Oh, how often do dwarves get injured? Not very often at all. And there you go, another armor value break. Just gonna be stunned there. Dwarves, though, they are in position to make this touchdown, but I believe the Camry T seeing this touchdown going for more injuries. So there you go. He's going to keep his team together, as you can see there. Not going to stop the ball carrier and will give this dwarf team their touchdown because why not? He's probably not going to score it this early. And wanting to keep the Camry team together so that he can get all these hits in, keep his team together, and... As you can see there, get a whole bunch of injuries. So there, getting past the two apothecaries and then getting a third injury. Big one, in fact. Still going to be on a very key player. Plus one in strength. Long beard. That's... Oh, wow. What the heck? What the heck is going on with Blood Bowl here nowadays, ladies and gentlemen? Not normally a thing, but... It appears that it is a thing with that blitz. And as you see, they're smartly played. If the blitz would just produce a push, so he would have pushed them right into a Camry Tomb Guardian. And he's got grab, so he would have hit him again. And if he would have got pushes, well, then he would have just pulled them into position right here. And then the other guy would have hit him. So there, Tomb Guardian would grab. Not too shabby. I was, I was kind of just wondering, uh, you know, the grab, it's good, but it's not extraordinarily good. But... There, as you can see, Tomb Guardians are going to be taking every... They need to get they need to get the hits off, right? Because a lot of the times, teams, they're not going to base up the Kemri team as, as much as possible. They're going to stay away from them. But they're going to use that Blitz, move him into position. And then after that, if he gets the pushes, then he gets to pull, pull him into more positional. And then after that, get more. So that'll be like three hits on the same guy. But still... He'll be getting the hits in instead of just only maybe getting one blitz per turn. That's it. Which is horrendous if you're playing the Camry team. Mm. 
Yeah, yeah. And it, yeah, and grab only works for a block, not for the blitz. That's, that is absolutely correct there. Dwarven team seen enough. He's like, I don't know what's going on, but I think my guy's losing the line. I'm just going to score it. One to nothing. Coley and XXX folds to the pressure because Tomb Guardians are basing up everyone. And uh, five strength is too much. So, going to score it there. And it's going to leave four times for this camera team to actually score his own touchdown. So, hey, this could actually win out. Enough for Alter for this. And so that's kind of the reason why you see a whole bunch of star players for the Dwarven teams. <laughs> They're like so cheap with the Nuffle Alter. Wow, as you can see there, let's go back real quick again. Dwarves saw nothing but Tomb Guardians touching up his Dwarves. And they have guard as well. So three strength against a couple of guys there with guard. This guy's got guard as well. And so seeing two red dice everywhere, sure, he might be able to get this hit in, but... After that, now what? Camry team's actually in range of blitzing the ball carrier, so he's pretty much forced to score it now. So, nicely played there. Camry team. Wow. Now it's the Camry team's turn and time to shine. There are four turns left to play, as I said. And now, no more apothecaries to worry about. No Blowizer, babe, so KOs could also be very effective, but now the star players are going to come in. We're going to see Beric Farblast, and it appears this is kind of what the Dwarves have envisioned here. Put the star player that we don't necessarily care about in the front line. He's still not going to use Boomer. Doesn't want to use him as of yet. Just going to wait until the second half to put in Boomer, and he'll be quite effective against any cagings going on for this Camry team, so let's see if that's going to work out for him. And that's the thing, with the Legendary Edition, introduce a whole bunch of star players, and I see there, Barry Farb as well, I think Bark was already there, but does that Boomer, and uh, you see things like Nuffle Alter now, so that people will have access to those star players, and then normally you probably would have saw a Wizard in most circumstances, but there... We're going to see more these star players come in instead of a wizard. So with the Wandering Apothecary being used and also all these guys coming in with, with the star players. Could have a wizard but opted to get two star players and the extra Apothecary. That perfect defense and the ball kicked a little bit short. Skeleton ends up with it. Well, actually, the skeleton is right over the kick area. And hopefully, he doesn't he doesn't scatter it to a bad spot here. Oh, don't 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 catch it. Oh, he does scatter it to the tough spot now. What is Camry team? So, oh man, this is this is not good. Don't forget, guys, Camry team. The highest agility man that they have is two. And it's going to be the throwers with the sure hands. And now it's going to have to be against two tackle zones. And after the blitz, it will just still be continue to be against one tackle zone. But that's a five plus pickup. That's a big ask right there. So the ball, I believe, will stay in the midfield. And what a great spot for this Dwarven team. Boy, too bad that didn't happen for them in the second half. Because this is still the position half of the Dwarven team. Even if the Camry team doesn't score it here. Not a tremendous deal. But boy, he would love to. And have the favorite going into the second half. And perhaps winning the ball game. But with the 5 plus pickup. Perhaps. Actually, it looks, like, looks more and more like a 6 plus pickup now. <laughs> and I don't think he's going to go for that. So we'll see here. Does have the plus 1 in straight throw. So should end up maybe going for the blitz. And then going to leave the ball on the ground. So there we go. Well, not throw -er. He's the blitz -er. So actually, that is the throw -er with plus one strength. He will get the frenzy. And he will get the defender stumbles. We'll be able to get him out as well. So toward the team. Oh, boy. Perfect defense. And uh, got himself a little bit in trouble. But can you blame him? The ball is still against two tackles. Though. They're one tackle zone. So we'll have a good shot at stopping anything that the Camry team might do. 
in these next three turns. And that's great. At least stoppered that up. Don't forget these troll slayers. They too have frenzied. So hey, hey, you frenzy me, I frenzy you. The better stumbles and uh, won't get the surf, but we'll get the hit and injury on the throw raw. Ooh, that's a big one there. And MNG, ooh, is gonna fail the regeneration roll, and oh no. As I said before, the highest agility man that the Camry team has is two, and so you always need to have your two throw runs on the pitch, and now for this game, and if somehow he wins this game, then the next game he won't even have a second throw run. Barring any star players, but still, I mean, that's a big one here. Oh no, that absolutely reduces the chances of the Kemby team. So far, so bad. My pick! My pick! Come on now. Don't do this to me. Sure hands, pick up against the two. Let's tackle players, and with the far, very far blast, he's gonna far blast it way over here. Nicely done, and that is yet another reason why you take Barry Farblast. He's got the Hail Mary. He's got the he's got the the strong arm. With that sure hands, he's gonna pick that ball up and then he's gonna be an absolute killer punter. There you go, he does free up the throw rough after that nice blitz, but it's gonna take him two turns to get to the ball. And uh, after that, the Kemper team won't be able to get anything going offensively. That's the sad thing here. And for me, I mean personally, I, that's why I can't necessarily play the Kemper team because, man, just no chances here after that business there. Yeah, very poor trade. He did get the throw rough and he did get the frenzy sh surf in there, but you gotta believe that the Dwarf team won't get any real injuries off of that surf. And, he hung his own thrower out to dry and got him injured for him. And the biggest thing too to note is that the throwers, they're the only ones that can pick up the ball reliably. And then they also have armor value 7. So any chance you can hit a thrower, you freaking do it. And there you go. Hung out the thrower out to dry and normally a huge positional player. But there, kind of puts too much out there. And Gets injured for it. A bit unfortunate, but still. Camry team should be able to persevere. Does have a whole bunch of five strength two guardians, as well as a whole bunch of guard up in front line. So still should be able to get the hits off on these dwarves. Should be able to get maybe some more armor value breaks, more injuries if God willing, Nuffle willing. Here's the stun and the injury. Ooh, Mighty Ball Polygon finally going to get his own injury there. And it's going to be on a Blitra and more regeneration fails. Oh, no, this is going absolutely downhill. Mighty Blow piling on too much. Camry team can only watch in horror. Oh, no. Camry team started off so well with, what, three injuries? But none himself in there. He's going to pay the price. There are too many guys basing up the Dwarven team. And this could happen to you right there, my friends. Defender stumbles. We'll be able to get that hit in. Skeleton. He's got armor value 7 as well. Thick Skull, though, could save this. There you go. Thick Skull does save it. Look at that. <laughs> does save it there. No KOs. He's going to get the stun instead. But... Kevin team won't be able to get the score himself, and we are going to go to the half. one nothing, the way of the Storm team. Oh yeah, Mike clearly forgot to drink before playing. And suddenly the Kevin is put on kid mittens. <laughs> I suppose so, yeah. He's going to have to play with a lot more touch as normal. Ooh, he's going to blitz with the throw raw, and uh, ooh, going to get back-to-back -back onesie there, and Luckily, it's not a bash. It is just a go for it roll fail. But man, gonna fail it there. And Dwarves might actually think about, hey, maybe I might, maybe I might get a foul here on this throw run. That might actually be a thing here. Get the hits off on that two guarding that's in the way, and then might get. I mean, even if it's a one person foul, but I think should be able to get a couple more in there, barring anything. Oh, it does get the block, so 
Won't be able to go here over the top. Might still have a shot though. But with this blitz coming on this troll slayer, he's gonna get the two guy pushed back, and so okay, not gonna get any not gonna get any more fouls, I think. Just gonna get the help on the Tomb Guard and get the hits here. One die block. Just gonna get a push and should go into the half. Might get a foul here on this Tomb Guard over here. I don't know. Two, two person foul. Yeah, there we go. Ooh, the foul is gonna come from the cannon. <laughs> That's awesome. But unfortunately, no armor value breaks there. And yes, we are gonna go to half one and nothing. So far, so good until the end there. I think the camera team saw the blitz, saw the surf, and got a little bit, got a little bit too happy for just that moment, and lost the throw run, and then afterwards, a little bit later on, lost a blitz run. So two key pieces for the camera team. That could be too, too many. Cheap shot to the nuts with the cannon. <laughs> yeah, I know. Coley and XXX looking good. Should be able to move on after this Cambridge team. Cambridge team so difficult to play. I tell you what, I don't envy any coach who is playing the Cambridge team because they are always up for an uphill battle every single game. Luckily though, he's gonna have his possession half. Far flood, far blast will go out, and uh, because of the injury here, and now the. Foul out the dwarves. I do believe it's going to be down one, and then if Boomer goes out, then uh, it could go down to nine dwarves on the pitch here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Okay, so eleven. So he does. He did have one extra dwarf, right? So there, he's okay. He is okay, but once Boomer goes out, then he'll have ten dwarves on the pitch. But still. He will have full complement. But the Cambridge team needs to persevere without the blitzer, without the thrower. Ooh, the blitz on defense. Luckily, this Cambridge team is not playing somebody like Wood Elves or Skaven team because he'd be all in trouble right now. But luckily, just dwarves. They're so slow on their feet. Just going to get one blitz in, and that's about it. And also a bomb thrown at their face, but still, not too bad, I'd say. But we'll get a Tomb Guardian down, and that will mean less hitting up front for the Tomb Guardian. So Dwarven Team absolutely will take that. And look at the ball, it's going to be right there. And if the scatter is going to still continue to be by the touchdown area, and if this throw rough begins to start flubbing that pickup... Mm -mm. Here's the throw, and whenever you're throwing a bomb, great throw right there on the money. Just gonna get the Blitzra, or actually just the skeleton up front, and it's gonna be an injury. Thankfully, though, regeneration is gonna pass, but now the guy that's supposed to help secure the ball is not there. Ooh, ball is gonna still land and bounce. Luckily, though, if he does fail to pick up, then at least it won't go out of bounds, but still gonna be a dangerous moment here a dangerous one indeed here's a hit we'll get the injury there and it's another long beard so that's pretty nice wow injuries after injury what a load of injuries in this game so far two injuries now oh another injury two guardians they're like don't worry mike the machine we will win this one for you another big injury another armor value break you kidding me Four big ones, like five total, three ones there. And another armor value break, but just gonna be a stun, but still absolutely tremendous. Two of Guardians won't let this Camry team die. Nice little grab back here, and again, two Guardians again gonna still be in position to get that hit. Now, now I see this grab working out so well. Should be able to get yet another hit in. So dangerous. We'll be able to get the hit. Yes, and actually did it with the skeleton. So, one, two, two, maneuver, two, guarding over. And he will be able to get the guard in there. Why not? And here's the pickup rope. Will it be unsuccessful? Yes, it will. Oh, no. Ball gets flubbed. And look, look at that. One more scatter. And it has a 
a little bit greater chance of 30, 33%, what is it, 40% chance almost of getting out of bounds? Oh, boy. It's a 3 in 8 chance, ladies and gentlemen. 3 in 8 chance of going out of bounds. Is it 38%? Uh, it's a little bit less than 40%, I know that. A little bit less than 40% of going out. 3 and 8 chance of going out, boys. Oh no. Somebody do the math for me. Somebody pull out the calculator. I'm too busy casting this game, guys. Here's the frenzy hit. We'll just get a push. And more two die blocks. So far, it's okay ish. Barrett Far Blast is out now. Boomer. He's gonna make his presence known. Gonna throw it. Three of the Camry team. Again, only two agilities. I mean, hell, he doesn't even need to throw it at the side. It's just he's just going on pure muscle reflex, but he can just throw it right on top of them. And so what if they do an interception try? Six plus, not every day you're gonna get that. But nonetheless, you still wanna play it safe and just throw it on the side there, so no interception try whatsoever. I mean, heck, even if he does intercept it, was it a six to throw it afterwards for a pass? I don't think so. Camera team, he needs to get more injuries if he hopes to win it. But again, I don't, I just, I just don't see that happening. He does get the grab block in there. We'll be able to get the skeleton his hit. Does get the defender stumbles, and that's going to be great. But that's not a mighty blow hit. Just going to be a normal hit on the on the value eight. Not too bad. Ooh, it's gonna fail the pickup yet again. Oh, 38%, I think. I think it is 38%. 38%. Almost flips it out of bounds, but it's gonna actually go in bounds to a better spot. So, not too shabby, but he does fail the pickup roll yet again. Luckily, again, that the Cambridge team is not playing against somebody like the Skaven or the Wood Elves or hell, any, any Elven team. Because they'd be all up in the backfield right now, and Camry team just would not be able to survive, I believe. Ooh, gonna fail the Dauntless. It's gonna be a one die block instead. Still gets the push though. And uh, I believe we'll get another one die block, but we'll get a defender stumbles this time. We'll get the armor value break. Just the stun though. Yeah, Boomer having accurate is really handy. We'll get the mighty blow. We'll get the piling on. Just gonna continue to stay stunned though. Boomer with that accurate. Yes, he's so good with that. And even the block, I mean, that's also gonna be pretty nice as well. He'll be able to stand on the end. He makes this Camry team so uncomfortable. He can't cage up because of it. I mean, if, even if he could pick up his ball, but still, I mean, he picks the ball up and he can't he can't really he can't really get his cage up. He needs to somehow hit that stupid star player, make him pay for it, throw some home, put a bomb into his own throat or something. Oh, he skulls there. Not every day that happens. Man. Does get the reroll though. Loads of rerolls from both sides. So far, Nuffle has kinda kinda not really happened happened too much on these rolls, although the injury rolls have been horrendous for both sides really, but I think more so for the dwarven team. I mean, th what, five total injuries? What the heck? Finally though, the throw run, he does get the ball. Yay, golf clap. Golf clap. Well, he does get the ball and, ooh, unfortunately does not get Boomer down. So, could throw it again at their faces. Ouch time. Ouch time indeed. Dwarves will not be daunted though. He will get his guys in there into the faces of this Camry team. They're a little bit well down, so not gonna be afraid of this. We'll get the blitz off, and again, more bomb throws on the way. Just gonna move up first, get into a little bit better position. And uh, oh, okay, no more bombs being thrown. All right, I guess there's no real good spot to throw it. And again, at this point, doesn't want to throw it to this spot because could get intercepted but I mean they only got what two agility <laughs> only six on the intercept for the bomb I just don't think that I think I think at this point just throw it. just throw the bombs my friend 
Oh, you can't move and throw? Oh, yeah, that's right, huh? <laughs> okay, yeah. That's right, you can't move and throw. I, feel, I, I, I confused that for a moment with throw teammate. But yes, camera team needs more injuries if he hopes to win this one. Maybe a, a, a sliver of a opportunity here on this right side now that these two dwarves are down, but still, kind of an ask. Stand firm and keep him away. And he could move here, should get in right. Oh, looks like we're gonna see a foul here. 30 player, he doesn't care if he's gonna get down one. If he gets this hit and does get the armor value eight, Armor value break in with the five actually. And that seven on that roll, but the injury being absolutely horrendous. Absolutely horrendous. What's going on, Overlord? When, when did you change it to the Overlord? No more POTUS, no more Earth Overlord. Oh, there's the throw, and uh, look at <laughs> He does get the pass in, and there you go. Throws it right in the spot, but luckily for the camera team. Gonna be okay with all the explodies and uh, wow, impact of the bomb. Look at that. Actually, is going to affect him. It's just affect that guy right there. Not too much more out of that, so... Whew, luckily for him, the impact of the bomb four on this that that almost that almost went badly for the Kemmer team. Right there. Almost. Yeah, he got the loaner reroll as well. Pretty good stuff. Now this Kemmer team, he's breathing a, a moment of relief, but will it be enough because Boomer? He's still in the game. He can still throw it into this cage and open things up for his dwarves. He needs to get the blitz off here. He needs to, he needs to get the blitz off. Yeah, he, I can't blame him there. Guess get the blitz off on Boomer. Get him out the way. Defender stumbles. That's good enough. But he can't just pick himself right back up. And, and, uh, and then the next bit, get some more throws off. But as, as, we, have, uh, as we have seen... Boomer. Oh no, here we go. He's gonna get away the Blitzra and Boomer. Is this a move action as well? Can he throw it after that? I don't know. Can he throw it after he gets up? I think as long as he just doesn't move, right? He can stand up and throw it. Okay, well he will move it. Oh, injury there. Camry team. Armor value seven, so weak, and there he's gonna fail. His another hit, and now armor value is gonna go down yet again. Oh no! Boomer might actually is what stops the camera team. You're right about that, Scum. Boomer might actually be what stoppers up this camera team because he is an absolute nuisance to deal with, and there's just not much you can answer for it. And it's not like the Kemri team could just, okay, I'm going to dodge away and hit them anyways. No, you can't. There's no dodges. <laughs> there's no no such thing as dodges for Kemri. Not unless he gets a whole bunch of agility ups. But there are no agility ups here. Just going to be Tomb Guardians with one agility. Bashing away. With skeletons with two agility. Bashing away. Luckily, he's got guard. And yeah, you know... The regeneration is just not not doing so well here. I mean, more regeneration fails. I mean, isn't it 50%, guys? Am I mistaken here? But is regeneration supposed to be 50%? I don't think so. Both down died. That's not good enough. He's going to reroll that, but just going to get a push. And uh, that's a little bit unfortunate. Does get into Boomer's face, so... Ooh, with this block here, we might actually have to spend a blitz here on this Tomb Guardian and make that throw a little bit more untenable. But still, at this point, as you can see there, Kemri team also sees just how dangerous Boomer really is. And there, two red die block. 
I'm just gonna get a push here and that's gonna be good enough. Boomer is free to throw. And could throw it into this spot right here. And looks to be a five plus. Ooh, gonna fail it. And uh, oh, not gonna get the reroll this time. And gonna blow himself up on that fumble. And uh, luckily for luckily for the story of the team, though, Boomer doesn't pay too much for it. Armor value nine, Boomer. So not gonna be too easy to take him out. But now the, the throw, bro. He's around the right side, and at this point, Camry team should be able to score it by the end of the half. So mission accomplished at this point. Dwarven team doing enough here, but with all those injuries in the second half, really helping out this Camry team and should be able to turn the corner and should be able to get this touchdown. Dwarves though should be able to get a blitz in there, and if not, might be able to get another Granada in there, but at this point, I, I just don't see it. We'll get the defender stumbles, and we'll be able to get that hit in. KO! And he should be able to maneuver him into a better spot. And actually, is going to be a 8 there. And get him into a better spot here. Yes, he's going to move the Tomb Guardian due to go for rolls. Now that he sees that, he doesn't want Dwarf players to come over the top here to stop the side cage. Because again, he just blitzed this right here. And then after that, he will absolutely stop, stop this up. But with this... Tomb Guardian standing uncomfortably right there and Guard Skeleton can't necessarily get a block right there so we'll just do the one die block and we'll get the Defender down die! How lucky is that but he's not out of the woods yet. He needs to survive a blitz here afterwards and Boomer trying to move out the way trying to do the go for rolls wanting to tie up this Tomb Guardian quite possibly the last guy that'll do the blitz but not gonna get there. Tomb Guardian should be able to get his blitz in now. I don't know if you want to blitz with the Tomb Guardian. But anyways, I guess, why not? Here's the blitz. Gonna come over the top. We'll be able to at least get a 3 die block. And he does get it. Push. Perfect. And we will be able to set the throw rough free. He does need to do one go for it roll because 6 movement allowance. So here we go. No back-to-backies. No, no 136. He does get the touchdown. Kemper team scores it after all. And uh, we are looking like going to overtime now. Loads of injuries for this Dwarven team. And KO at least will come back. Bottom of the 16th now. But still. Boomer is finally going to be sent off. And man, how uncomfortable was that? Heck, he was uncomfortable watching that. But still, now Boomer is no longer a threat. Can the Camry team pull this off? Overtime period pretty much going to defend, depend on where the coin toss is going to lie. I know, KO. As I think the KO was the first KO in this game. We've seen KOs getting thwarted by the thick skulls. And so we haven't really seen that much KOs. kickoff for the bottom of the 16th round but the dwarf team is not concerned about it Ooh, blitz but that's a non-factor here so just gonna pass it wow another blitz and uh, luckily for the dwarf team the camera team is not an elven team or a scaven team so we're not gonna see a whole bunch of players in the backfield but man two blitzes in this game all the elven coaches are like where is that for my games Gonna get a KO here, and that was a mighty blow hit. So actually, it was a mighty blow, the thick skull save, <laughs> if you believe that. So it was a mighty blow to, to nine, and then, well, actually, it was a KO. Nine's good enough for. <laughs> Actually, it would have been an 8. 
Right. Oh yeah, so it was yeah, so it was a yeah, mighty blow pushed it to the nine, and then the and so the KO happened instead of a stun. <laughs> well, okay, so yeah, the mighty it mighty blowed it to the KO, the nine KO, but then the thick skull couldn't save him from the eight. After that, <laughs> that worked out. That totally worked out. Pass by the plus one in agility. We'll get the vanity pass. And we are going to go into overtime. So at this point, basically whoever wins the coin toss should probably win the game. Barring Nuffle. Man, another game that goes to overtime. So I will continue more Blood Bowl cast a little bit later on. But I'm going to have to eat some dinner now, guys. <laughs> Yeah, so a little bit later on and probably a hour or so I'm gonna get the last two Blood Bowl games out. Blood Bowl Champions Cup 9 brought to you by Focus Home and Cyanide. Cyanide, fix it. Alright, so now Underground Circus overtime period. Oh, look at that. Kemri Team is going to win the coin toss. And so with that, yes, Kemri Team has a chance now to win this game. It's totally not over. Dwarven Team could stifle up this Kemri Team. As long as the Kemri Team doesn't get as many entries as he has been on this Dwarven Team, Dwarves might be able to stand a chance. But I think there are outnumbered at this point. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Dwarves on the pitch against a full complement of Kemri team and Colian XXX is in trouble at least he's gonna have a extra reroll going into the next pit so that's gonna be great two rerolls to one Kemri though 11 on 8 at this point does have the numbers advantage can he take this one through he's gonna start off with the hits in the front line mighty blow hits not going to get any more out of it. Just a 3 on the, on the value break. One throw raw. One blitz raw. Is all he perhaps needs. But he needs to prove it. Another hit. Good stand. Good stand right there. Going to continue to get these hits off. On these dwarves. And man, that's that's been the... That's just been just too much so far in this game. Dwarves just getting hit left and right. Their, their minds just getting joggled. Jobble, joggled. I don't even know what I'm saying anymore. Yeah, dwarves are gonna definitely have to dig deep to possibly salvage this defense. But again, a nice thing, Kemri team. He could have, he could have failed that pickup roll a great many times and then m m make the move. But unfortunately, does not fail any pickup rolls, and so. Dwarven team. Now, the only thing he kind of hope for is to get his own. His own injuries in and uh, perhaps start with that, but just gonna be a stun. Just gonna be a stun, and the Dwarven team needs to just kind of wait. Can't base up the Kemri team any longer. Not enough dwarves to do that. Wow, not every day you see dwarves afraid to base up the opponent, but with the way the Kemri team is bashing, I don't blame them right here. Camry's looking around the right side. Dwarves. Dwarves are going to try to take advantage of their greatest weakness, their speed. So, going to try to go around to the right side. Get a wrap around here and make his way up the pitch if possible. And so far, he's going to commit to the right side. So, Dwarven team now is going to shift here. Might do some shake and bake here. Left and right moves by the camera team, but not too easy to do that it's not like the throw right yeah he picked up the ball but six movement allowance well that's just kind of average but it is faster than the average dwarf though except for the runners so could actually blow by them if given the opportunity we'll get the two dive block we'll get the defender stumbles and that's gonna be great we get the hit in and continue to square off the right side. So the camera team showing where he's going. Dwarves just need to stop this. Stop this man! 
Oh, now he's gonna go ahead and base him up. He wants to tie up the Tomb Guardians. Get the plus one agility man out on front. Trolls there. And I believe we should see a hit on one of these Tomb Guardians. Could I possibly stand this man up and then get the get the hit in. It's gonna be starting off with the one die block, but not gonna get it there, so the blitz now is gonna have to come with the one die and ooh, gonna get the defender stump uh, gonna, gonna get the defender down anyways with the armor value break and an injury. Oh no! That was the Tomb Guardian holding everything up in the front right and another regeneration failed. Oh no, luckily it was a no long-term effect badly injury, I think. I can't really see it. But, oh, actually, I think we should be able to see it now, yeah. Oh, it is an MNG, so another Tomb Guardian goes down for the count, so, ouch. That was a, that was a thing in the patch. You can now see the injury, so used to, we, we just couldn't tell what the hell the injury was. But now we know another one, and the four on, it was the... It was a four right there, and I should have known, but it was an MNG right there. And the Dwarven team, though, I think, I think if the Kenry team wins, absolutely paid in blood. We'll see, though. Kenry team still needs to prove it. Gonna try to go around the left side now. And again, Kenry team trying to make use of the greatest dwarf weakness. Their, their low movement allowance. Gonna turn to the midfield and and with so little dwarves left on the pitch can't really play positional so it's gonna be very difficult for this dwarf team to stop this really needs to get some injuries more injuries he did get on a tomb guardian so kudos there but still needs more we'll see though dwarf is can't get wrapped around here Dwarves need to wrap back around as you see. Two die block. Gets the defender down. We'll get we'll take that for the time being. Um, value seven. It's gonna fall. Just a stun, but that's good enough. Should be able to go around yet again. Can team though. He's still got what five more turns left, so might be okay-ish. Tomb Guardian, he's gonna start off with the hits here. Get the push. And not going to get too much more out of it, unfortunately. There's another two die block. We'll get the defender stumbles this time, but Blitz has already been used. So, Kemi team, I think, won't move it on this turn. Probably just going to stay there. If anything, maybe move towards the left, but uh, I, I think staying in midfield is... Okay. Okay, well, I guess he's not moving too far away midfield. Just turn the corner as much as he can. And the nice thing here is you're playing against the Dwarven team, so you don't necessarily need a four-point cage. A two-point or even a three-point cage is all you really need. And again, that's that's the that's due to the low movement allowance of the Dwarves. Don't necessarily need to worry about a four-point cage. And, uh, next up, Dwarves. Tick, 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 tick. Going down to the wire. Four more turns left. For the Camry. Five more for the Dwarves. We'll get the Blitz off. We'll be able to take him down. We'll be able to touch up the ball carrier. This is this is a very difficult moment here. Camry team, he's going to have to somehow get two guys away touching the ball carrier. And you thought having a... Agility 3 guy getting touched up having the ball. You have uh, Agility 2 guy being touched up and it's so difficult there. It, they, they just get stoppered up and that's kind of why I was saying before maybe you won't see the ball being moved here to the left side because this is kind of where you end up and so if you maybe have hang, hang back a little bit more then maybe he gets touched up by one guy but how can you deny? How can you how can you say, okay, don't go to the left side? Now with the blitz. And uh, we'll be able to get the two die block. Just gonna be a push here, but it will be enough. Gonna get the hit here. 
And he's gonna have to do his own block. Yeah, there we go. Defender stumbles and he's gonna have to stay right there yet again. But the, as long as, uh, luckily he got him hit. As long as they're basing up the cage though, or the cage parts, then camera team's definitely not out the woods. But if he can get these hits in, oh, and he does. Absolute clutch hits right there. He could not have a dwarf touch up the cage. And there you go, another hit. Oh, back to back to back hits. And that will stop everything. So if he would have just got some pushes there, the Dwarven team might have been able to turn this back around, hit into the cage, and might actually be able to get a blitz into the ball carrier. But with everything going just right at the moment where the camera team needed it, probably not going to see too much here. And look at that. Just, just handing up the Dwarf team here on the right side. Look at that. He will be able to get the dodge through and ooh, won't be able to get the hit and this might be a blitz actually yes it is a blitz so one die blitz coming around the left side failed to go for a roll but just gonna get a push here so luckily oh camry team survives oh just barely just barely there one die blitz almost comes through but luckily, go for will failed, so didn't need to worry about the 50% with the reroll. Defender stumbles and the defender down die with the reroll. And so now, with that push and the dwarves actually putting everything into it, is gonna see the ball carrier slip right by. But, oh no! Cambry team! Gonna get a little bit nuffled there. Both down, dicey, and with no more rerolls left. Oh, uh oh, time. Are we going to see a two die block? We're going to definitely see at least a one die block. This is it. One reroll here. Oh, could it be? Could it be? This is a 50% chance, and with the reroll, plenty of. Oh, but he's going to fail the go for roll, so no more rerolls on the two die block. Going to get the defender stumbles, anyways. Perfectly done. And we'll actually get an arm for value break. Just going to be a stun. But that's good enough. When the ball's on the ground, Cabaret team is in all kinds of doo-doo. Oh no. Two more turns left for the Cabaret team. And the stun coming out for the throw rod. The only person that can pick this ball up with any great ease is on the ground for two. By the time he gets up, he'll just be in time to watch the kickoff penalty kicks. But the Dwarves... They're not through yet. They could actually come back. Maybe I don't know if he's gonna be able to make a throw down pitch or something like that. Uh, if, he, if he maybe moves this guy down the pitch now, but it looks like he's not. So it appears that the dwarves they're probably gonna be okay with going at the penalty kicks. But both sides, no more reroll stuff. He's gonna fail to go full roll after the blitz. Oh no! And the dwarves survive. Holding defense with just eight dwarves against a full complement of the Camry team, and there, just a small glimmer of hope, but a hope nonetheless. Unfortunately, both down dices came out for the Tomb Guardian there at the bottom and absolutely left the ball carrier wide open to a blitz. But oh man, that could have been extraordinarily disastrous. He should be able to get the ball pick up now, and two more turns. Are we going to see a dwarf fly down the pitch? Maybe. But I believe they're a little bit out of position. Ooh, Troll Slayer! He says, I'm, I'm, I'm open, coach! Troll Slayer! He's going for it! To agility! <laughs> he makes it through. Five plus four plus on those dodges and gets it. So now the Dwarven team, he's absolutely open for this touchdown and the Camry team needs to respond, but I don't think there is a response to this. He's way too far away and so needs to somehow mark this ball up every way he can and hit down that runner so that he doesn't have the sure hands pick up. There you go, takes him down. So he's gonna have to rely on a two agility man to make the throw. <laughs> Oh man, hold my beer. Oh, we're absolutely going into penalty kicks now. Oh yeah, there we go. Camry team does tie up the only real threat. Here comes the foul. Might as well. This is the last turn. 
get the fouls going and make sure that nobody can get anything more out of this and uh, here comes the try I think one dive blitz we've seen the miracles he's gonna need some more miracles I don't think he can throw it from there though so with this hit he should be able to pick it up with a plus one and agility man and then maybe hand it off yeah he's gonna try to hand off against it no he won't hand okay so he's just I think he wanted to just go for it and then and then maybe have a six plus throw afterwards for a six plus catch penalty shootout each team rolls a d6 and the high score wins each unused team roll adds one to the d6 score so there we go penalty shootout it's gonna happen oh no who's gonna win it this is absolutely 50 50 at this point What are we going to see here? Will it, will it be enough? Will it be the Camry team? Or will it be the Dwarves? You never really want to see it go to the penalty kicks, but at this point, it's just whatever. Oh, it looks like I, I skipped it and the Dwarven team, I believe, made the kick at the beginning. Actually, it's going slow right now. What's going on? So we're back to the second kick here. Dwarves <gasps> gonna miss the kick here on his second kick. Oh, Camry team. I've never seen anyone. As soon as I see someone miss it, I've never seen the other team miss it. And there you go. Camry team, two guardians. They are gonna make it all the way. Two to one, Camry team. Pays for it in blood. He's going to be down the Tomb Guardian. He's going to be down the Thrower. And I think he's going to be down his Blister. I don't know if his Blister is down. But, oh man. That, my friends, is that for this game. Coley and XXX. Just so many injuries out on the Dwarves. Right when they needed it in the second half. And then was able to get that easy touchdown, I would say, from the Camry team. But man, 82 blocks succeeded. 67 for the Dwarf team. This was an absolute bash fest. Both of these both of these sides. Nine injuries on both sides. But with the Camry team having a huge bench. And the Dwarven team just not having enough. Still was able to hold serve. And that's just how close between these two are going to be. But man, Colleen XXX falls, falters again, and the Camry team makes it to the round of eight, the quarterfinals. So I think the farthest any Camry team has gone. Very good, very good stuff here. Mike the Machine moves on. My pick is actually good. Someone for zero. Thanks for joining me, guys. More Blood Bowl action to come a little bit later on. I need to eat some dinner first, but. Man, I can't believe what I'm seeing here. Camry team's gonna move on and let's check out the brackets as we see who's gonna be facing off against. What a wild one between those two. And Camry team, two to one. And a little bit later on, we're gonna see these two play here against one another, but man, Camry team, all kinds of people's down, but uh, hey, we'll take it. Quarterfinal action. In about an hour, we're going to do more round two. About an hour. So we'll see you in just a few. I'm going to actually upload the vampire game and this game up on the YouTube channel. So you can check me out there as well. Hey, if you haven't out there and you are watching this, please follow along. If you haven't already. On Twitch, you can check me out on YouTube as well. Almost a thousand subscribers there, so please, please subscribe. It definitely helps me out. I'm almost there. I, I need, what, 30, 36 more subscribers for a thousand on YouTube. So please tell your Blood Bowl players, friends, your neighbors, your, your schoolmates, whoever. Subscribe to the VG Pierce right here, right now. And I love you for it. But until for another hour, we're going to see some more Blood Bowl action a little bit later on. But until then, I'll see you guys later.